Hi guys, how you doing? Today, working, working without a bag or a very light bag. You don't necessarily need a heavy bag to have a good workout. I'm gonna show you how to have a good workout by just shadow boxing. And if you do have a light bag, I'm gonna show you how to work on your lighter, less quality bag. Your bag doesn't always have to be ridiculously heavy to have a good workout. Watch this guys, a good shadow boxing session. You wanna keep on your toes as much as possible. Your movement is what gives you the best workout. Remember, boxing, you stand in one place throwing punches, all you're doing is working your upper body. It's not particularly effective on your full cardiovascular system. To have a good workout, just shadow boxing, keep on your toes, back, forth, side, switch, side, switch. It's almost as if you're going for a run while throwing your punches. But watch your guard. This is the perfect time to work on your guard. You're not trying to strain yourself by throwing those big, heavy shots. Those big, heavy shots aren't always the best shots to throw. Work on your speed. In shadow boxing, this is the time to work on your speed. Work on your guard. Work on your defense. Work on your parries. When you're shadow boxing, whatever it is you're doing, even if you're in the bags, hitting the bags, the whole point of this is, in your mind, you're fighting someone, you're sparring with someone. So you need to have that imaginary partner who's throwing strikes at you, who you're gonna dodge out the way of. That's the whole point of it, okay? Create your imaginary friend in your head. Who's throwing punches at you? <laughs> rapid punching. Look at my hands coming back to you. See? Rapid, rapid. Hands up all the time. Little thing like that. Look, my curls are coming back. My curls are coming because I'm sweating. That was a two or three minute round. And I'm already tired, having problems breathing. You do not need a heavy bag at home to have a good workout. However, if you do have a bag at home and you wanna have a good workout and your bag is maybe too light, you think your bag is too light. This here is our lightest bag in the gym. I think it probably only weighs about, I don't know, 10 kilos. Maybe less. But you don't necessarily need one of these bags. You don't need a heavy bag like that to have a heavy, a good workout. You do not. You, can act, you actually do have better workouts on the smaller, lighter bags. The reason for that is they make you move around more. It can be more realistic. Boom, boom. The bag moves around more, so it's more like an opponent for you. The big, heavy, heavy bags, they stay static. No opponent is going to stay static for you to punch the hell out of them without them moving and trying to defend themselves or get out of your way. Personally, I would much rather have a lighter bag in my house than a heavy bag. Don't get me wrong, I totally understand why people think they need a heavy bag. It's for this reason. This is the reason he thinks he needs a heavier bag. Because he wants to stay static and hit the bag. No good. To work on a light bag, see this bag is quite light, see? When I punch it, it flies around. The good thing about that is, it gets you moving more. It's more realistic as an opponent. Move, move, move. Your opponent is gonna be moving, okay? Your heavy bags don't move as much. But, the reason why people don't necessarily like these lighter bags is simple fact is, when they throw the punches, the bag swing, and you don't really want the bag swinging. If you throw a punch and your bag over swings, I'm gonna show you now how to control your bags if they over swing. Little thing, so it keeps it realistic. One thing I like to do when I hit my bags, and they go out of control, I like, for one, to let the bag swing back to me. That makes me change my stance position, and I change my defense. Number two, if the bag is swinging too much and maybe you are getting tired, control the bag in a defense manner. So, example. If the bag comes swinging back at me after I've thrown a punch, I will defend myself with my elbow. 
but not only am I defending it with my elbow, I'm slowing down the pace of the bag, back down to the pace that I want to train at. Parry it. Stop it with your palm, but keep yourself in that defensive mood when you stop the bag. You don't want to try and just go, all right, okay, I'm tired. I'll stop the bag there, and then I'll start again. <laughs> no, this is what keeps it realistic. You're constantly moving. Bang, 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 bang. Defense. Bang, bang. Stop the bag with your elbow. Pin it. Parry me out. And then start again. Catch it with my palm. And then start again. No matter what I do, I'm keeping in a guard position. That's a guard position. So pause it to slow it down. I'm keeping my head tucked in. My guard up at all times. Also remember, when you punch a lighter bag hard and it goes swinging, other than using sometimes your defense to pause the bag or slow the bag back down, you can use your counter punches in your opposite direction to calm the bag down as well. Like a pendulum, equal and opposite force will stop it from swinging. Swings that way, equal opposite force. Let's put it back into its position. But I love it moving, I love the bag moving. And remember guys, it's not the size of the bag, it's what you do with it that counts. That's what your last said.